Our Campanodos Lateralis were living in a twig for about a year. But now it's getting too small. And that's not the only issue. The old setup has its flaws. Can we help these beautiful carpenter ants? Can we fix the challenges? Welcome to the crafting ant. We got this colony in March of 2024. Campanodus lateralis is monogyne, so there's one queen. We got her with around 100 workers, but no brood. We placed them in a first generation queen tube room. And here you can see how polymorphic they are and their beautiful colors. But that same week we connected a first generation mess nest for them to test. And they seemed to like it. They moved in immediately. After a few weeks of feeding them in the feeding corridor, it was getting harder to do. So we started decorating a DIY outworld called the cheese box. I decorated it with dark sand piece of spider wood and some rocks. I was happy with the result and connected the mesh right away. And then it went sideways. They liked the decorational twigs so much that they started chewing their way in. It was an awesome sight. It took them around 26 hours. Chewing, bringing it out, and then spreading the dust all over the outworld. But they completely moved in. Campanolas lateralis liked the nest humidity of 50 to 60 percent. But this colony was big enough to take care of that by themselves. And I, I would take care of the 21 to 24 degrees Celsius that they prefer. I watched them dig for hours. And they managed to get all the way through. Later on, I disconnected the mesh. They were living in a twig anyway and it was just taking up space. Halfway in October, the colony was placed in the fridge for hibernation, with a lot of other colonies. We did regular checkups to make sure that they had a little food and drinking water. And when they came out of hibernation, you could see it was crowded in the twig. But this was nothing compared to one month later. The twig was full. The brood was overflowing. They started putting it everywhere. Up, over, under. And not just a little. Just look at it. I hadn't seen the queen since the mesh nest. But this was a sign that she was more alive than ever. But this was not the best life for them. So I placed a poll on the Discord server and let the community decide. And so the wooden nest was chosen. And a few days later, I connected it to the outworld. And then, nothing. No interest at all. A solar wanderer once in a while. I made time lapses for days and deleted most of them out of frustration. This colony was playing me again, just as they did with the twig instead of the mesh. But then, eight days later, I found this. And the day after, a bit more. 
slowly, the brood was put in the nest. But while this was happening, a new problem arose. The DIY outworld was warping. The barrier was breached a long time ago, but now the rubber was also failing. And smaller workers managed to get out once in a while, and I would find them wandering around in the vivarium. Time to get to work. I picked a large outworld and poured gypsum on the floor and covered it with a darker gray sand. With the move, I started by putting some cotton in the outworld tunnel. Then I moved the nest to the new outworld without squishing the worker. Luckily, laterales are easy going ants. Then I quickly moved the twig with a lot of ants still on it. Now I just had to get the last workers and some more rocks. This is about a week later. The colony is always active in the outworld. And the twig is still not empty. The nest is far from full. A fun thing is that they are constantly using different chambers, moving every day. And I still haven't seen the queen. Is she still in the twig? Or under one of the clusters of ants? I don't know. But I know she's alive. You can see fresh eggs all over the place. For now, the setup is complete. The outworld is easy to maintain and there's lots of room inside the nest. And the twig, it's right there in the outworld. As a decoration or still a queen chamber, it's all the same for me. Do you like the setups? Go to thecraftingant.com. Want more information on ants? Or need help? Or even want to help decide on the colonies? Join our Discord. And of course, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Thank you for watching, and see you next time at The Crafting Ant.